In the world of basketball, certain individuals transcend the game, becoming beacons of inspiration and resilience. Join us as we embark on an extraordinary journey through the life and career of Tamika Catchings, a remarkable figure who embodies the very heart of the sport. From her early days on the court to her unparalleled success in the WNBA, her story is a testament to the indomitable spirit of an athlete who refused to let adversity define her. Let's explore the multifaceted brilliance that defines her and discover why she's not just a basketball legend, but a true inspiration. Born in New Jersey, Catching's basketball journey began with notable stops at Adlai E. Stevenson High School and Duncanville High School, where she garnered recognition as a WBCA All-American. An astonishing feat that set her apart from the rest, she earned the distinction of being the first player at any level to be officially credited with a quintuple double, where she had 25 points, 18 rebounds, 11 assists, 10 steals, and 10 blocks. Her collegiate career at the University of Tennessee with the Lady Volunteers from 1997 to 2001 was equally impressive. She accumulated a collection of prestigious awards, including the Naismith College Player of the Year, the AP Player of the Year, the USBWA Women's National Player of the Year, and the WBCA Player of the Year in 2000. During her freshman year in the 1997-98 season, she was a vital part of the undefeated national champion team forming a dynamic trio known as the Three Meeks, alongside Semika Randall and Shamik Holdsclaw. In 2001, she embarked on her WNBA journey when she was drafted third overall by the Indiana Fever. Unfortunately, she couldn't play that season due to an ACL injury sustained during her senior year at Tennessee. However, her comeback in 2002 was nothing short of extraordinary. In her first year as a pro, she made an immediate impact, averaging 18.6 points per game, earning her the well-deserved title of Rookie of the Year. During her rookie season, in a regular season game against the Minnesota Lynx, she tied a then-WNBA record with nine steals. Although this record has since been broken, it highlighted her defensive prowess. In 2005, she achieved remarkable milestones becoming the fastest player to score 2,000 career points in the WNBA, accomplishing this feat in only four seasons of play. She also became the fastest to reach 1,000 rebounds, 400 assists, and 300 steals. She was also recognized as the Defensive Player of the Year in 2005, the first of several such honors. She repeated again in 2006, and her defensive prowess remained a constant throughout her career earning her this prestigious award again in 2009 and 2010. She was not only an elite defender, but also a perennial All-Star. Her contributions to the game were acknowledged with multiple All-Star selections and accolades. Her exceptional career led to her inclusion in the WNBA's All-Decade team and being voted in by fans as one of the top 15 players in the league's 15-year history. In 2008, the Fever acquired Katie Douglas to form an All-Star duo alongside Catchings, aiming for a championship. Although they fell short that year, the 2009 season brought more postseason success. The chemistry between her and Douglas propelled the fever to the WNBA Finals, marking Catching's first Finals appearance. Although they faced the Phoenix Mercury and lost a hard-fought series, her leadership was undeniable. In 2011, she was named the most valuable player, leading her team to a top seed in the Eastern Conference. Although she had a subpar performance in the playoffs due to injury, her regular season excellence shone brightly. In 2012, she led the Fever to their first WNBA title, defeating the Minnesota Lynx, and her play led to her being named the Finals MVP. In 2014, she faced adversity with a back injury, missing the start of the season but returning with a game-winning basket at the WNBA All-Star Game. She also became the WNBA's all-time leading playoff scorer and rebounder during this season. Her remarkable career culminated in 2016 when she announced her retirement after the Summer Olympics. As of her retirement, she held numerous records, including first all-time in career playoff scoring, 
first all-time in career playoff rebounds, and many others, solidifying her legacy as a WNBA legend. As if her WNBA career wasn't impressive enough, she took her talents abroad during the offseason, showcasing her skills on the international stage. In 2003, she ventured to South Korea to join Asun Wuri Bank YB. It marked the beginning of her overseas journey, and she made an immediate impact. The 2005 to 2006 offseason saw her suiting up for Spartak Moscow in the Russian League, demonstrating her versatility and adaptability. Returning to South Korea, she played for Chunshin Wari Bank Hanze in the 2006 and 2007 off-seasons, adding valuable international experience to her already impressive resume. Poland beckoned in the 2008 to 2009 off-season, where she joined Lotus VBW Climaginia, showcasing her skills in yet another country. She then embarked on a two-season journey in the Turkish League from 2009 to 2011, representing Galatasaray. Her presence in the team added depth and international experience, which she shared with her Indiana Fever teammate, Katie Douglas. She was not just a force to be reckoned with in the WNBA. She also made her presence felt on the international stage, representing the United States with honor and distinction. Her journey with USA basketball began with the women's junior national team. In 1996, Catchings and her teammates participated in the Junior World Championship held in Mexico. The USA team dominated early games, but fell just short in the final, securing the silver medal. She continued her international career by participating in the 1997 FIBA Junior World Championship in Brazil. Although they faced a strong Australian team, the USA came close to victory but had to settle for silver. Her performance was exceptional, earning a double-double with 17 points and 10 rebounds. In 1998, she represented the USA in the William Jones Cup competition in Taiwan. The USA team dominated, securing the gold medal with catchings averaging 6.4 points per game. Her international career reached its pinnacle when she played for the USA women's basketball team at the 2004 Summer Olympics in Athens, contributing to the team's gold medal victory. In 2009, she was invited to the USA basketball women's national team training camp which often serves as the pool for major international tournaments. She was consistently selected to represent the United States at major international events. In 2010, she was a member of the national team for the World Championships held in the Czech Republic. The USA team, despite limited practice, dominated the competition and clinched the gold medal. Her commitment to USA basketball was further evident as she was named one of the national team members to represent the USA basketball team in the WNBA versus USA basketball game. This special match served as a preparation for the International Basketball Federation World Championship for Women. Catching's excellence was acknowledged when she was named a finalist for the US Women's Olympic Basketball Team roster for the 2012 Olympics in London. She not only made the final roster, but also contributed to the team's gold medal victory. In the 2016 Summer Olympics, she once again donned the Team USA jersey securing her fourth Olympic gold medal as they defeated Spain. Her impact goes beyond the basketball court. Her passion for making a positive change in the world is evident through her philanthropic efforts and social activism. In 2004, she established the Catch the Stars Foundation, a charitable organization with a mission to provide underprivileged children access to basketball camps, fitness clinics, mentoring, and literacy programs. Through these initiatives, she empowers young individuals to excel in both sports and academics. Prior to the 2016 Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, she joined forces with NBA star Carmelo Anthony, engaging in town meetings in Los Angeles to address the issues of violence involving police officers. During a basketball game, she and her teammates made a bold statement by kneeling during the playing of the national anthem to protest infringements upon human rights. Their unity in using their platform for change was a testament to their character. On another occasion, she and her fellow athletes, along with members of two other teams, were fined for wearing warm-up shirts that featured slogans like Black Lives Matter and Dallas Five, highlighting the urgency of addressing violence involving and against police officers. When her illustrious playing career concluded, she didn't step away from the world of basketball, 
she embarked on a new journey, making her mark in various roles and business ventures. In January 2017, she assumed the role of game analyst for women's basketball games on the SEC network, sharing her insights and knowledge of the game with a broader audience. The entrepreneurial spirit drove her to purchase Tea's Me Cafe, a tea shop she had frequented during her Indiana fever days, cementing her presence as a businesswoman. In April 2017, she was appointed Director of Player Programs and Franchise Development for Pacers Sports and Entertainment, where her passion for basketball continued to shine. Proving her versatility yet again, she took on the challenge of American Ninja Warrior in the Baltimore qualifying round during Season 11. Her episode aired on NBC on July 1, 2019, displaying her determination and athleticism in a different arena. Before her various roles in the basketball world, she had also served as the Vice President of Basketball Operations and General Manager for the Indiana Fever. Now I will mention her awards because why not? She was just that great. She was him, or shall I say her. She was Illinois Miss Basketball, Naismith Award, National Female Prep Player of the Year, U.S. Basketball Writers Association Freshman of the Year, League for the Hard of Hearing Athlete of the Year, Reynolds Society Achievement Award and Naismith National Player of the Year, ESB Award, College Player of the Year, NCAA Champion, WNBA Outreach Award and WNBA Rookie of the Year. WNBA Regular Season Most Valuable Player, WNBA Champion and Finals MVP, 10-time WNBA All-Star, 7-time All-WNBA First Team, 5-time All-WNBA Second Team, 5-time WNBA Defensive Player of the Year, 10-time WNBA All-Defensive First Team, 2-time WNBA All-Defensive Second Team, 8-time WNBA Steals Leader, WNBA 10th Anniversary Team, WNBA 15th Anniversary Team, WNBA 20th Anniversary Team, WNBA 25th Anniversary Team, Indiana Fever number 24 retired, WNBA Regular Season All-Time Steals Leader, WNBA Playoffs All-Time Leading Scorer, WNBA Playoffs All-Time Rebounding Leader, WNBA Playoffs All-Time Steals Leader, Polish National League Champion, Two-Time Turkish Cup Winner, WBCBL Professional Basketball Trailblazer Award, the WKBL Winter League 2003 Summer League and 2006 Winter League Finals MVP, three-time Kim Perro Sportsmanship Award winner. She was awarded a star on the Flag for Hope on May 9, 2016, in recognition of her outstanding basketball career and philanthropic efforts. She was part of the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame Class of 2020, with notable legends like Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, the late Eddie Sutton, Rudy Tomjanovich, Kim Mulkey, Barbara Stevens, the late Patrick Bauman, and the late great Kobe Bean Bryant. She was inducted into the Hall of Fame in May of 2021. In conclusion, she is a true icon in the world of basketball, leaving an indelible mark with her exceptional skills, leadership and commitment to making a positive impact both on and off the court. Her impressive list of accolades attests to her incredible talent and dedication to the game. However, her legacy extends far beyond the basketball arena. She showed that athletes have the potential to be powerful voices for change and equality, even though she had a hearing disability. Her induction into the Hall of Fame solidified her status as one of the sport's all-time greats. She is a shining example of what can be achieved through talent, determination, and a commitment to making the world a better place. Her legacy as a basketball legend and an agent for positive change will continue to inspire generations to come. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mick, Mika, Catch, the one and only Tamika Devon Catchings.